Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Today, we're looking at Julio Tehran's pickoff move. He's got one of the better pickoff moves for right-handed pitcher. Really, really quick. Um, right here, he picks off Devers at first. Let's watch it real quick, and then we're going to talk about it. All right, we'll watch it one more time. So, obviously, it gets him by a lot there. Um, let's talk about some of the important things. This is a, you know, this is something that can be a huge weapon for you, not only just to pick off runners and get free outs, but also just to, to slow down and limit the run game. If the opposing team knows that you've got a really good move, you've got really quick feet, well, then the chances of them gambling and trying to steal um, – is going to really be cut down. So let's talk about some of the keys that Tehran does. First thing that stands out to me, and we'll talk about this little buckle of the knee here, this little Bach move. We'll talk about that at the end. Uh, but the first thing is how quick, how short and quick his feet work. So how quickly he gets his feet up and down, right? So really, really quick. He's not getting up in the air this way, he literally is just quickly pivoting both feet. So if he's standing, if you think about him standing inside like a big trash can, his feet just, boom, turn. He stays inside there. So he's not trying to gain any ground or anything. He's just quickly pivoting his feet. They literally don't get any wider. He already comes set with a somewhat of a wide stance. And now he just pivots his feet. All right, so short, quick, staying inside that big trash barrel, trash can, if you can think about that. The second thing is the really short arm action. So you can see when he turns, the ball comes out, and it goes straight up. So it does not go down this way. He doesn't have a long arm action. It's literally... Take the ball out of the glove right at the middle of the chest. And a very, very quick throw. Okay, so if you can put together short and quick feet and a short and quick arm action, ball's going to get over there really, really quickly. All right, those are the two biggest things that stand out for me with his pickoff. Now, the third thing is the little bit of the knee buckle here, you know, some people call it a Bach move, where typically if you're going to pitch to the plate or, you know, all the time, if you're going to pitch to the plate, you know, your left leg, your left heel is going to pick up first. If you're going to pick over, then your back heel is going to pick up first. So runners will typically look at the feet, look at the heels. And what Tehran does here is he flinches, he flinches his front foot, his left foot and his left knee. So if you're a base runner, you can see, if you just go back and forth here, look at Devers and look at the flinch of the left heel. Right on the hinge, you, oh, right on the flinch, you can see Devers starting to want to go. So you can see that crossover on the flinch. So that little bit, and you may say, man, that's so little. How, how does he see that? As a base runner, you know, when you're zoned in on that and you've done it your whole life over and over again, you see that, and that gets you getting ready to go, and then all of a sudden, uh-oh, he's picking over, and that's all it takes, that little bit of a move this way, this false move this way, and you're never getting back on a move as quick as Tehran's. Okay? So mix that in. The one thing about pickoff moves is that all it takes is a little bit of effort to practice it. Just go down... You know, if you're a pitcher, especially at a higher level, and let's be honest, pitchers work on their pitching and then they don't do anything. They shag. Um, but it doesn't take much work at all to start to work on some of this stuff. Work on your footwork. Work on having a really quick uh, arm action, short and quick. And then you can work on messing around with, you know, a little bit of a Bach move, just flinching your knee and 
barely lifting your, your left heel up and then turning and picking. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with all your friends. Give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff down there for you guys to check out. We've got a deal going on with Plate Crate. Uh, you guys can click the link, type in Antonelli, get 50% off your first Plate Crate. We also have uh, a link to our Patreon page. You can support the channel. And we got a bunch of other stuff, so definitely check that out. And that's all I got. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate you watching, and we'll talk to you later.